hope you had a great summer. Welcome back to school. Did you miss me? I missed you. I'm gonna give you a little tour around the room now, okay? Okay, here we go. We're gonna start at my desk. It's always messy. So you don't wanna touch anything because then it might get lost and I won't be able to find it. Here is my desk area. That's all my stuff. And this is going to be where all the art supplies are. Right now there's just a bunch of junk as usual. Does anybody know what this thing is? It's a cutting board. We don't want to touch that, okay? That's dangerous, all right? So, I will keep our supplies right up here that you need for class a lot of times. Look, I picked y'all flowers. Next up, we have our expectations. And expectations spells out art. A-R-T. Our first expectation is to aim for your best, to do right. Our next expectation is to respect your friends and the art room. And our last expectation is to trust yourself and your ability to learn. All right, now I'm gonna show you where all the supplies are. My first bookshelf. That really has a lot of stuff for high school. So we don't have to worry about that so much. My next bookshelf is for you guys. Here, we will have our markers, our glue, our crayons, our Sharpies, all kinds of things. Here's a close-up of that bookshelf. Over here, I have my oil pastels. Down at the bottom, I have construction paper crayons. Here are a gazillion Sharpies. Next, we have colored pencils. And above that, we have brand new crayons. They're super pretty. Up here, we have free draw paper. We'll use that sometimes. In this drawer, if you ever need a pencil, there you go. If you ever need an eraser, there you go. If you ever need a Kleenex, there you go. Also, when your hands get filthy, you can use this and get some hand sanitizer. Up, we, up here we have our map for art around the world. This year, when we're talking about art from Japan, I'll show you on the map where Japan is. The next section of my bookshelf, we've got markers, and they're coded by color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. We have scissors, and we have brand new glue that we really have to take care of. This part of our bookshelf, we have bins for whenever I need to pass out supplies to your table. Each table is color-coded. Underneath this is mostly for my kindergartners, but we do have some fun activities to do sometimes. Right there is going to be where your sketchbooks are stored. Oh, look at those kitties. Behind me, I have a drawing rack. And I also have my cubbies for where I store your artwork. Next, we have the sink area. That's where we wash our hands and wash our paintbrushes. Next to that, we have another drying rack. And we have the recycle bin. That is only for paper, plastic, and cardboard. It's everybody's favorite place. It's where our free draw books are. Sometimes when you have time at the end of class, you're able to get your sketchbook and get a free draw book. Over here, we have more supplies. These are high school supplies, so we don't need to get anything from over here. Another drying rack, which is great. Sometimes I'll say, go put your artwork on drying rack number one. And you will come over here and do that. Last bookshelf is all our paints and oil pastels and clay glazes and all kinds of goodies. Those are all things that I will get out for you and put on the supply table. I hope you enjoyed the art room tour. And if you have any questions, now will be the time I will answer them for you. It is going to be a great 
Yeah.